continuing uh, to uh, uh, looking at uh, some of the consequences of this uh, equation of motion uh, we just derived in the rotating framework, modified gravitational potential and the uh, Coriolis effect, uh, rest looks pretty much uh, the same. Uh, the gravitational uh, modified gravitational potential is of course gz minus omega squared r squared over 2. This is our centrifugal force term from the rotation. Um, you can see that the analogy to the uh, reference parabolic surface we used is similar h minus omega squared r squared over 2g, right? So in the in the tank what does it uh, mean in terms of the motions if you created now a reference parabola with a uh, solid material and uh, created some motions uh, on it? Uh, those are also instructional as we will see. So in this equation, uh, if there is no acceleration and uh, the pressure gradients, uh, sorry, the pressure gradient and these go to zero on the um, reference uh, parabola and there is no friction then we can just balance the acceleration term with the Coriolis. Uh, why is it important? Actually even in the real world this actually happens. Okay, We'll see an example of what is called a inertial circle. Uh, inertia basically means you push something and then it has some inertia so it'll keep going, right? It's what um, inertia means. So looking at this equation, we also know that omega cross u dot u by vector calculus is going to be zero, okay? So cross and dot product, so this is perpendicular to u and if you cross product produces a projection in the perpendicular if you dot uh, with u again there is no projection back on u so the product is zero which means Coriolis force does no work okay that's what we mean by an apparent force okay technical detail but nonetheless it's good to remember coming back to our solid body rotation as we said uh, they set up this tank they fill it up with water and let it settle down uh, even for a day uh, or so and then slowly start rotating the surface uh, without jerking the system and the entire fluid rotates as one solid body with the tank um, very carefully done uh, and produces this uh, parabola. This is the kind of process that's actually used in creating uh, parabolic mirrors and lenses and so on where uh, some material like resin for example uh, can be put on a rotating table and based on the parameters of the parabola you want to generate you can determine the rotation rate etc. So there is the tank of the radius and there is the reference height we used uh, in our equation. So in this case 1 over grad P plus grad phi uh, will become equal to zero because the particles, parcels in the water are not moving and there is no friction. Everything is moving as a solid body, right? So there is no friction at least within the interior at the boundaries obviously uh, the water is hugging the, the tank and so on but let's say within uh, the uh, inside the water uh, the balance will be just uh, the pressure gradient plus grad phi equal zero. What is grad phi in this case? Going back to these equation uh, we reduced so u is zero, f is zero and uh, omega cross u is uh, zero because there is no Coriolis, it's a solid body rotation. So we just have one over grad P plus grad C equals zero, which means you can reduce this to P over rho plus C equals to zero. It's an incompressible fluid, so rho is constant, so we can easily do that. And right, rho is constant. 
Uh, at the free surface, again, it's the atmospheric pressure, but for uh, simplification, we can set it to zero because it's the same on the whole tank, so it doesn't matter. There's no gradient in surface pressure, then you can just set it to zero and take everything with respect to that, right? So here, phi uh, that we saw before for the modified gravitational potential uh, of the system we were deriving was uh, gz minus omega squared r squared over 2. We had combined uh, gravity and uh, centrifugal force. So in our case then uh, it means gz minus omega squared r squared over 2 equal to constant at the surface, right? At the surface, P is zero, so P over rho plus phi equal constant just becomes phi equal to constant, okay? What uh, does it give us? Basically, uh, at R equals zero at the uh, center of uh, the tank, um, remember R is going from the center towards the uh, edge of the tank, uh, you can de derive the relation in terms of the height at the center plus omega squared r squared over 2g. Actually, you can skip this part. This is just for illustration uh, about how uh, gravity gets modified in the rotating system. This experiment is set up to kind of demonstrate that. So you can then define a modified gravity g star as minus g uh, g hat, it, which is our unit vector in the uh, z direction, minus omega uh, cross omega cross r. What's happening here? This force in the tank is uh, on a tilted surface, so it's going to have a component that's uh, vertical, okay? So look at this now. This is our reference parabola given by our uh, whatever minus omega squared uh, h minus omega squared r squared over g. Make sure I didn't mess it up, right? So you imagine <clears throat> something that is put on this reference parabola. We'll see what uh, we mean by that. That, let's say, little uh, hockey puck or a little marble or a little uh, ball bearing, it's going to experience gravity, which is obviously always vertically down. It's going to experience a omega squared r, which is going to be uh, along the radius perpendicular to the axis of rotation. So now you can split this omega squared r into a component that is uh, along the uh, surface and down perpendicular uh, to the surface, right? So you have a component of uh, omega squared r that's projecting along this direction and along this direction. Do I have it right? No. Along this direction. So you are going to end up with a normal force acting here. So you have gravity that's trying to pull it down the hill and the component of uh, centrifugal force uh, pulling it the other way. So if it doesn't move, that means the two forces are in balance, except here this is the uh, modified gravity because this is Earth's gravity but because you have omega squared r, r acting perpendicular to this it has to produce a component along this direction and G has to have a component along this direction to keep the object hockey puck ball bearing or whatever in balance okay so gravity resolved parallel to the surface is gh because the surface is curved this way you can take a local uh, tangent and project g into this component and this component and omega squared r into that component and this component okay maybe i messed it up but make sure you understand okay so Let's look at it, uh, the motion uh, with the inertial frame with this dude standing here and a camera that's somehow going around with the, uh, the ball bearing that he has thrown. What he has done is basically release it to cross this uh, axis of rotation which you cannot obviously see. So he releases it to go this way and he will see that it's just going back and forth, back and forth, right? We'll see the Foucault's pendulum in a minute. But actually, what happens is 
the camera that's on top sees that the ball bearing is actually doing these kind of circles. So it's going like this and then like this, like this and so on and so forth. So this is how Foucault had first discovered that looking at the pendulum in the Parthenon in uh, France, he had uh, argued that the oscillation of the pendulum uh, and the circle it makes as it oscillates is related to Earth's rotation. Okay, so another way to do it is to uh, put a uh, frozen uh, CO2 uh, uh, puck on this uh, surface and you can do the inertial frame and the rotating frame of reference. Okay, long story short, uh, we will see uh, quickly that the, uh, I don't know if I want to pull it now, I'll come back to it in the next uh, podcast, but I will show you the um, Foucault's pendulum animation, which clearly shows how this motion uh, comes about. So this is the impact of rotation and motion on a rotating uh, parabola, okay? So it is just to introduce this concept of inertial circle, which I'll show, plus how the uh, parabola gets defined by the rotation and so on.